Hi guys, I'm Ben, the gym instructor from Leeds City College. Um, today I'm just going to take you through a little bit of um, home workout, which you can do from home so you don't need any equipment. It's just upper, upper body, lower body and a bit of core. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate a few exercises, you know, just to, if, if, you can't, if you don't have access to a gym then you can do these at home. Right, let's go. So we're going to start with the uh, program now, the circuit, what I've done. So like I said before, it's the aim of doing the upper body, lower body and the core, so working the abs. Uh, I'll link it in at the description at the end, so I'll, uh, I'll send you a photo of the, um, you know, the actual circuit. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate the 12 exercises which I've developed for you guys. So starting off with the upper body first, first exercise we're going to do is, it's repetitions as well. So we're not doing using the stopwatch this time, we're going to try it for reps. So we're going to start off with wide grip press ups. So arms spread out, slightly wider than shoulder width, like that. And we're just doing a press up all the way to the floor and back up. We're going to do 10 to 15 reps of these. So I won't do the full reps, I'm just giving you a quick demonstration, you know, of what to do. If you struggle to do the full press ups, you can actually cross your knees like that and then do a press up. So like that. It's just to regress it a little bit if you struggle to do a full press up. So we're going to do 10 reps of press ups and then we're going to do the close grip press up. So this gets more of your triceps. Um, obviously still working on your shoulders and your chest as well. So basically you're going to put your hands closer together like this. And then we're going to do a close grip press up like that. If you can see it from that angle. Or from this angle as well for the close grip. And that, we're going to do another 10 to 15 reps again for the close grip press-ups. Um, the next one is tricep dips. So for the tricep dips, you're going to sit on your bum like that. Put your hands on the floor, bring your hips up. And you're just pushing up and down like that. Just working the triceps with your hips ever so slightly off the floor. And that's tricep dips. So working on the back of your arms and then what we're going to do is the next one uh, we're going to go, move on to uh, walk out so feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart and when you're walking all the way out to there and then walking back in again and then keep repeating that we're going to do 10 reps of these 10 reps of walk outs and then we're going to move move on to burpees so we've got another 10 reps of burpees where you stand in this position like that feet and hands together and then you jump out, jump in, stand up, repeat again, jump out, jump in, up again. That's the burpee, so you're doing 10 reps of them. And then we're moving on to lower body now. So we've done upper body, we're going on to squats, feet shoulder width apart. And we're squatting down here to the, this position and back up again. Squat down. Like that. So we're doing 10 reps of squats and then we're going to do alternate lunges. So he can either do forward lunge like that, alternating each leg like that, or you can do backwards lunge like that. This is to regress it a little bit to take any pressure off your knee if you've got bad knees. So we're doing 10 reps of per leg on the lunges and then we're moving on to the core now. So we're moving on to sit ups. So just normal sit ups, laying on the floor, knees bent. Put your hands on your knees if you want, we're just crunching up to there, just like that. Nice deep breaths, controlling you, you know, controlling your breathing. Doing 10 reps on the sit-ups, and then we're going to move next one to reverse crunches. So like this, legs flat, knees in, hips up like that, extend your legs out, bring your knees in towards your chest, and extend all the way out. That's working your core, the lower part of your abdomen, reverse crunches. 10 reps of that, and now we're going to do jackknife sit-ups. So laying flat on your back again, bring your legs and your hands up, touching your shins all the way, extend it out, and again, like that. So we're going to do another 10 reps of them, and then we're going to move straight onto the plank. So the plank in this position here, on your elbows, keeping your back, you see, nice and straight, like that. So don't arch it, you know, don't bring it up like that, don't bring your hips too far down. Just keep your back nice and straight and squeezing your core, controlling your breathing. You're going to hold that for 30 seconds so you will time that on a stopwatch. So the next one, the last one, final core exercise is your cross body crunches. 
So for that, you're laying on the floor again, flat on your back, shoulder blades together, squeezing together, knees bent, and then you're bringing your elbow towards the opposite knee like that, and then swap to the other side, and you're doing 20 of these, so another 10 for leg like that, and this is working all your oblique area down here. Whew. So that's the uh, last exercise we're doing today, so that's an overall upper lower body and core workout. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll link in the um, the workout for you all so you can have a look at it. And then yeah, if you guys want to give that a go at home, it's fantastic. As you can see, I've not done the full work. I've just demonstrated a couple of reps for you guys. If you do the full reps, then yeah, it'll be a very good workout and effective. So I hope you enjoy. All right, till the next time. See you soon, guys.